Hey everybody, it's uh, been a long time since I've been on here, but uh, heck with what's going on right now, I've got plenty of time for projects, and here is one of them. Um, working on uh, adding to my comms. So I uh, went ahead and did a little search on Amazon and got this uh, Uniden Pro 505XL. Uh, one of the reasons I liked it was one, 33 bucks, kind of hard to beat. And they had a package deal with the uh, adapter and antenna and everything for like 66 bucks, something like that. But one feature I did like is it has a PA uh, output. So I went 11 bucks, got a uh, all weather PA uh, speaker. And then I've got a 2018 F-150, which has an all aluminum body. So I was like, well, I've got a magnetic antenna, but I also don't want to go drilling holes in my truck for mounts or doing some, there's a lot of other options out there, but I saw this one I liked, uh, and it's pretty much the same color as my truck. But what it does is uh, this mount, uh, you take off your third brake light um, on the back of the cab and mount this behind it. So now you've got a base plate and you can put multiple antennas on it. I've got another, uh, I've got a Midland uh, radio that's in a uh, 30 cal can. It's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool setup. But I can attach that antenna as well, so I could run both of those if I wanted to. But uh, I'm going to install this and see how it goes. All right, what we're going to do first, after reading the instructions, is uh, remove the third brake light here. And it looks like it calls for a 930 seconds uh, socket, so that's what we're going to use to remove it. Now that we've got it unscrewed, is to disconnect these bulbs. Now there's different instructions if you have LEDs versus the halogens, so just be mindful of that. All right, now reattach that and align the toggle bolts so that the bolt holes will line up for the remount. Tighten that up a little bit more. And just screw everything back into place, and I've got a magnetic plate to mount your antennas on.